So, hello, how are you? Yeah. So one of the things that we, you know, when we started this campaign, we thought that we were going to run on based on ideas, based on the concept that we could actually move open forward yeah. and deal with the issues of crime. And so, you know, very idealistic into going into this. And, uh, you know, before, when it was known that I was running, then we got pressed by letter, you know, on, on mark letters being delivered by the Postal Service, uh, threatening us that they were going to do things to me. Uh, and that was not okay, but we continue to move Oakland forward, we continue to move forward with our campaign. And eventually, uh, you know, then we, you know, we started to get, uh, when we announced that we were, we were actually officially running, uh, then uh, our tires started getting slashed, all of them, on our cars. And that was not okay. Uh, but nevertheless, we continued to move forward with our campaign and our message, and it was resonating. And then, uh, eventually, we got phone calls um, threatening, uh, you know, and no one would identify themselves. Only the harm will come to me. Uh, but that was not okay as well, and we continued to move forward. And more and more, we started getting more validations from uh, getting endorsements from the Democratic Party, from the Sierra Club, from the Green Party, from teachers, Oakland teachers, uh, from the largest union in Oakland, SEIU. And, um, we see the escalation of uh, violence now into our uh, campaign headquarters, which is a serious concern. Has any been caused a police report been filed? Then? Yeah, we have filed police reports for the issues of the tires and for, obviously for this issue. Uh, you know, this is just a, a serious message uh, that is sent to us about silencing our voice, silencing a campaign. And I mean, I have witnessed this type of stuff in Mexico City, but I never witnessed this in 2008 in Oakland, California. Oh, okay. yeah. take, take us on a tour about what happened here. So basically, uh, this is our campaign headquarters. Uh -huh. Normally we run operations. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. How are you? Good. You okay? We run operations out of the offices every day. Uh, we normally get around 10 to 20 volunteers on a given day. And uh, as you can see, we're in the, the heart of the Fruitvale District. Uh, 41st and International. A lot of cars pass here, very trafficked area. And this is where we located our offices. Um, oh, we, we have always refused to put bars in our windows, even operating under the fruit bill. Everybody has said, no, you got to do something, you got to put some protection bars. But I never believed that we should live uh, as in the prison. You know, we have to make sure that we, we are free to do this, and it doesn't look good in our neighborhood. So when we opened our office, we said, all right, we're going to do something different. We're just not going to put bars in our windows, and we're actually going to do what, what it needs to do to make our, our neighborhood better. Yeah, uh, yes. So you see this? All six windows and two doors. Like one. Like rocks or something? No, oh, that was a hammer. Hammer? Yeah. And somebody and went through with a hammer and just one by one. And so it was pretty quick. Uh, there was actually an agent inside of the office at around 10:30 last night when this incident occurred, and he hit the ground. He thought that there was bullets being, uh, you Is he know, here now. Or? No, he's gone. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, there was basically concern for the safety of people like that. I have over 66 employees that depend on the livelihood of an office like this, right. Right. and so you know, we're proud of that. We're proud of the fact that we provide a lot of alternatives for people to employ and they produce in this in this company. Question: Do you think we've talked about this before on the mm -hmm. phone? Do you think there's any connection between this and that blog that I Absolutely. I think that you know this is this is a very old law for Oakland politics. This is yeah. exactly what it yeah, is. I've never seen it. Before. I mean, this is this is what's happening for many years in this district. I'm, I remember I'm going after an establishment that has been entrenched for over 16 years. Right. Uh, and, you know, it, they're threatened. There's money associated with taking on power like this, uh, and to try to silence a voice in our community nowadays is sending a chilling effect uh, to our community, and this should not be tolerated. So I want to make it clear: I will never be silenced by any cowardly acts like the ones that took place here last night by the by the effects of people sending me anonymous letters or making anonymous calls anything like that would never silence me I will continue to move my message forward and I'm going to win this election and you know a lot of people are supporting this I think a lot of people see through the politics and the dirty games that are playing in this in this election what's your website Mario for Oakland.com M A R I O for F O R Oakland.com how much damage uh talking about here this is over well you know the windows and the doors along are going to be over ten thousand dollars to repair and to protect the the premises then we have to hire private security uh, so you know that's hourly as well like the gentleman here's yes. correct private security right yeah. It is. yeah yeah so yeah. this is what we have Cindy. so you know all right so how are you doing? What happened here, man? What's going on with uh, like Mario? Told me about it and damage. But who do you think was up? To why do you think anybody would do this? What's going on here? You know, you're <laughs> you know, why it could be speculation, but there's one thing for a certain I can say. Yeah, you would think that 
folks would have shot up the other businesses. However, it's just focused on this business. And then a real estate business, why would somebody take the time out to shoot up a real estate business yeah. when you have somebody who's very giving to the community? Yeah. Very much involved in the community, you know. Uh, so, uh, to me, it seemed as if this was intentional and as this was premeditated. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Look at this stuff. He said he took a hammer to it or something like that. Ooh. You know? That's bad. Ma, That's bad. Get over here, girl. Listen us today. Show your support for our cabin. A lot of faces that I know and a lot of friends, a lot of people that I appreciate.